On the 20th of November 1969, Mary Scott was a 24-year-old mother and San Diego resident. She worked as a cocktail waitress and then as a go-go dancer at a club called Star and Garter Cafe, which was about a mile away. She had been working there for about a year and they called her Lucky. She originally married at the age of 17, but separated from her husband, who was a Navy sailor from Louisiana. Finding childcare was difficult for her, so she left her two daughters with her husband's family. At 2.15am, she was taken home by cab from the club to a ground floor City Heights apartment. At 2.30am, a man started smashing and kicking at her door. He forced his way in and brutally attacked her. She tried desperately to fend him off. The neighbours heard her screams, but did not investigate. When Mary hadn't shown up for work the following evening, a co-worker dropped in to check up on her. When she arrived, she found the apartment in complete disarray. The security chain had been torn from the door frame, furniture was overturned, and an ashtray was smashed. She discovered Mary's lifeless, disrobed body lying on the living room floor, with a nightgown beside her. She had been violated and strangled. The authorities were contacted, and evidence was collected from the crime scene. When all leads were exhausted, the case went cold for over five decades. Authorities reopened the case around the 50th anniversary of Mary's passing, after a 67-year-old sister, Rosalie Sands, suggested to a law enforcement friend to relook into the case after similar cases had been recently solved using advanced DNA technology. It was discovered that the attacker left his DNA behind. Using this evidence, coupled with forensic genealogy, by searching publicly available DNA databases, family trees were created to put a name to the mystery DNA. The man responsible for taking Mary's life was identified as 75-year-old John Sippus of Pennsylvania. On the 24th of October 2020, he was arrested at his home in Schnecksville, not far from Allentown, on the eastern side of the state. He was grilling hot dogs that Saturday afternoon from his tidy home when several state police cars pulled into his driveway where he was arrested without incident. He was described as grouchy by his neighbour and felt sorry for his wife whom she hadn't met. He remains in jail at Pennsylvania's Lehigh County and is awaiting extradition to San Diego County to face trial. He suffers from medical conditions, including diabetes, and has had three previous heart attacks. There are concerns he may not be able to stand trial because of his ill health. Police were limited in the details they could disclose due to pending court proceedings. Rosalie was told that in 1969, Sippus was living in San Diego and soon left the Navy after Mary's life was taken. Rosalie added, this guy got to live 51 years free and easy, and she got those 51 years taken from her. Mary's youngest daughter, Donna Weibel, who is now 55, said news of the arrest of her mother's attacker left her totally in shock. It's unreal. It's been so many years that we wanted this solved. 